All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is a flip phone in 2021. And we're going to take a look at it because I got to cover phones like this because not everybody wants a quote unquote smartphone. So we're going to do a complete walkthrough of the Ocotel Go Flip. Uh, this is going to be pretty nice. It's 4G LTE. Uh, Wi-Fi calling. Wow, Wi-Fi calling enabled on a flip phone. This is going to be really good. 2.8 inch display with an external at 1.4. 2 megapixel rear camera. Wi-Fi calling, like I said, voice over LTE. Music player, video player, a web browser, email, calendar, 4G LTE. Quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor and the Kai OS. Uh, and we've all experienced this before. This actually has an SD card slot as well and an 1850 milliamp hour battery. So, this is available on several carriers, uh, and um, this is going to be really nice. This is obviously is extremely affordable because um, it's a flip phone, and uh, not a lot of people are going to be buying these. You know what I'm saying? So this should have four gigs of RAM installed too, like on board for storage or whatever. Uh, so it should be pretty good. So in here, I should have a, a battery, a bot. You know, let's, let's get it over here. Ooh, I like the texture on this. Now, if you remember my other um, Ocotel device that I reviewed, uh, it was gray. And it was, um, I actually traded it into T-Mobile uh, and got a good deal for another free device. But this is the latest one right here, the Ocotel Go Flip. Beautiful texture on here. It's really, really nice, man. It's got to be a little port to open it up the battery right there. So look at this. This is Type C now. It is type C. You've got a headphone jack because it has a music player. Your volume rocker is over here, microphone and on the bottom and a microphone on the top. And again, here's that 1.4 inch display out there. And then you've got the camera right there as well. And then when you open it up, it tells you everything that's gonna be done with this display and how you can navigate it with this center console right here. So this tells you about this. So the favorites context is that star. You got your messaging, you can go straight to messaging. You got your back button, which is a little hook, little arrow right there. You got your end and power is this red button right here, right? And then this button on the top here is for contacts. And you can navigate with this little black circle right here. Obviously the okay button in the center is for selecting things. And on the top here, you've got your notifications. You can get directly to your notifications. And on the bottom here, this is how you answer calls and get to your call log. Nice big giant buttons on this thing, man. So you have no reason to mistype or even if you don't like, I'm gonna take my glasses off. I can still see that this says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, asterisk and pound. So put the bifocals back on. This is very clear basically uh, to, 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 to read and you can see it's all there. And this phone is just under a hundred bucks. This is really good. So if you pop the back off right here, there's a little slit right there. So for those that have never used a smartphone and don't want a smartphone, always look for a little slit uh, in the casing right there to get the battery get to, to get to the battery door. So you have an SD card slot right here and then your nano SIM goes right there. That is crazy. Now let's see what else is in the box before I get going here. This piece of cardboard, get that out of the way. Little tab here to pull up, all right. As you can see, this is the T-Mobile version and I do have T-Mobile service. So then you got your, your manuals right here. It's a quick start guide. If you decide I'm going to just read this entire book and I'm going to learn about this device and I won't want to call for support, here's your tech support right here in the box. <laughs> so there you go. And then you've got um, your type C cable. And then you got your uh, charging brick. All right. And then you got your battery. So let's get this open here. And again, I review phones like this because there's people out there that just don't, and that is all that's in the box. There's people out there that don't want a, a, a high powered smartphone and they want to keep it very basic. And that's what phones like, that's what phones like this are for. <laughs> filling it, filling it. So here we go. Let's put that over there. Looking, looking sweet. You can see the kind of the phone a little bit. Let's, let's put it on this side so it's kind of uniform. Here we go. So here is the phone itself. Here's the battery. And the battery is supposed to be 1850. Is that what I said? 1850? Now, I can't even see that with my bifocal. Let me zoom. There we go. Uh, that says 1850. Now that I've zoomed in, so you can see a little nice little thin battery. All right. 
So the battery, you line up the battery, folks, for people who need to know, you line the battery up right here and you and you drop it down in there. So let me let me um pop this SIM card in here. Just in case it starts asking me for a SIM card or whatever. All right, let's see here. All right, and we're gonna put the battery in here. Sometimes some phones don't let you activate without even, even if there's no service on the SIM, sometimes they don't let you activate without even, uh, you know, putting some kind of SIM card from the provider. So I'm gonna peel this off. This probably won't have any sound, but let's just keep quiet for a second for gratification purposes only. Ooh, we got a little bit, we got a little bit. So we're gonna hold down this red button right here. Got a strong vibration. So if you've never used Kai OS, folks, this is like a smartphone that, this is a flip phone trying to be a smartphone, I guess I'll say, or, or this is a flip phone with smartphone capabilities because there's not a lot of type C flip phones, man. That's incredible right there. So T-Mobile version. You can get this on uh, pretty much all carriers, AT and T, Verizon. I think you can get them on. You can get them on a lot of carriers. Now, this display on the inside. Ooh, I love it. I love it. This display on the inside is three twenty by two forty. For those that just have to know, and I believe the outside is like one forty four or something like that. But it's gonna look okay for a flip phone because you know this is a a smaller display. So don't let that deter you. Don't even let that two megapixel camera deter you. Oh, snap. It's got the little talking thing. They have really stepped it up with the Go Flip 4, man. I don't believe the other one started talking to me like that. So let's press OK for English, searching for network, and it's got Wi-Fi. So I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi password real quick. All right, I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi. It is connected. I hit next. This is pretty crazy, man, that these a flip phone has Wi-Fi. I think that's actually pretty good. And it's, <laughs> I know this isn't saying updates. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We'll go ahead and go past that. And right here is kind of crazy because it's saying, "Are you over 16? I'm just turning six. I just turned 17. All right. And we're gonna accept. And for a flip phone, it's pretty strange. Oh, there's a new software update downloading. This is <laughs> this is crazy, man. For a flip phone, folks, this is a big deal. That's why the other Alcatel Go Flip 4 was such a good phone, man. A lot, you know, I, I look at the comments on those videos from back in the day, and I say, man, people really love that device. And I actually had two of them. Now, unfortunately, I did get rid of it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, I had to move on to bigger and better things, which will be this. So T-Mobile has pushed out a software. Oh, it's not a touchscreen. Okay, let's hit this right here. We'll let this update, and then um, it's going to take about, about 10 minutes, and so I'll be back after that. So the phone did not take 10 minutes. It took more like two or three minutes. It was pretty quick, but, you know, I don't want to bore you with that. So here's navigation once again to tell you how to get to these things. So you press up to get to your commonly used settings on this little controller right here. You'll get to your volume, your Bluetooth, your data, your airplane mode, all these different things. Again, think of smartphones, man. These are things that smartphones have that most cell phones don't have, like regular flip phones. So go next. You, remember, you navigate with these buttons. You go press the left button, the left side of the scroll wheel, to get to all your applications that's available. Because this does have a little baby app store, which is pretty cool. And go next. And then you, and again, it's going over these buttons that look like it had on the little stick on the beginning. So we'll go ahead and go over that. Yeah, it's telling you everything that you need to do with this. It's pretty cool that some people might forget. And then, you know, you get a reminder right here. Pretty nice. So you can go into the Kai store and get more applications. Boom. And here we are. So I'm going to walk through Kai real quick for you. Kai, oh, this is actually pretty cool, man. So all of you guys who have the Akatel Go Flip 3. Um, I can go ahead and tell you, if you decide to go up to this, I think you'll probably, the screen is beautiful on here. And then also, it seems a little speedier, but I, it could just be that placebo effect because I haven't really used it a lot. Uh, but let's go ahead and go left. And you can see you got Google, you got Google Maps, you got YouTube, which is crazy. You got your internet and you got your store. So let's go ahead and go into the store and we'll tackle these apps selections real quick. So this is going really fast, which is Pretty nice, man. So it's an update for all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit update on all of these right here. It's updating each. Look, look how fast it's updating. Okay, now I do have fast Wi-Fi, so 
take note of that. But here are games. So you've got roulette, you've got chicken, whatever this is. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, I got to get this. I got to get this. Because I want to play a game on here. Just to show you, you know what I'm saying? Angry Chicken is, is installed. All right, we're going to open that later. You got picture quiz. You got space shooter. Oh, I'm all in with this one. And these games, folks, are not very big in size because the onboard storage is not a lot. So it's optimized for this type of setting. Now, I'm not going to download all these games, but those are the games right there. These are, these are under your recommended section. So you scroll all the way to the top, and then you'll get education is next. So you've got trivia quiz, a periodic table. You got all these different things, noob draw, math training. Okay, so you go back up. Then social is the one that's really dope because you have tweet fit. This is basically Twitter for iOS. So we're going to install that. The vibration on this phone is just stupid good, folks. It's, it is, it's nice. And so you got your games. I've already went into some of the games, but there's a lot of games on here. It's loading up the store. Uh-oh. More updates? Man, it can't be that. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess it's some. Oh, look at look at the little notification thing down here. Ah, oh, it's got a little color. Did you see that at the bottom? It's got a little color notification with the icons. That's pretty nice. Oh, the store is updating. Okay, okay, okay. So let's let's update it. This is brand new out of the box. So you know what I'm saying? You'll you'll know um you'll know that you might get some updates like this. So you got your games, you got your utilities, where am I? A sound meter. Man. This is crazy. Man, I'm, it's getting a lot of updates, ain't it? It's getting a lot of updates. But ultimately, folks, I don't want you to keep looking at updates. I'm going to just get out of here. That is your apps and everything over here. This is the store and everything you can get over here. So we, we clicked to the left. Let's click up. Now here is where you got your volume, vibrate, Camera, you can access your camera up here. You can turn off your cellular data. You can control the brightness is at 40%. That's pretty good. Let's switch it to 50%. Oh, it goes to set. Oh, you tap it and it goes through 10, 40, 70, 100. Gotcha. So those are the presets, looks like. You can go over to airplane mode. There's my Wi Fi. Here's the access to the camera. You've got Bluetooth. You can hook this to your car or, or Bluetooth headphones if you want to. So that's pretty nice. Now we click left. We click up. Let's click right. Access is the camera. So, camera would like to know if it can have your location. Ah, nope. So, it tells you here, press left and right keys to switch between photo and video modes. So, that is pretty nice. So, right now, oh, you can see the icons at the top up there. So, if I hit to the right, that's video. If I hit to the left, it's going to stay on here. So, let's, this camera, folks, remember, this camera is a camera that is on a flip phone. I'm even, I'm, I'm even, I'm even going to clean it off with the microfiber cloth just to make sure you get the best photo I can give you with this phone because I know a lot of people are not. That's a pretty fast photo, though. That's a pretty fast photo. So let's, let's see how to let's let's go to options on the video real quick. And so you can do standard high. Oh, you can do the resolution is standard. I'm, I'm going to put it to high so you can get the best quality. And then I'm going to scroll over here and it says go to videos. And you can change the modes right there. So let's go back. And now it is on video. And I'm just going to do a quick little sample here. That's a loud bing on there to let you know the video is going. So you'll be able to do basic video recording uh, with this little camera on the flip phone. Because if you're buying this, you're not buying it for video cameras. But the fact that you have them, that's beast mode, right? So we go to, uh, we go to options, scroll over. Right here, go to video. Let's see if this is gonna play videos in here. Here we go. It's scanning for videos. Boom, it found the video. So the 12 second video was 3.4 megabytes. Let's go. You'll be able to do basic video recording uh, with this little camera on the flip phone. Because if you're buying this, you're not buying it for video cameras. So that lets you know the speaker is plenty loud, folks. That's pretty boss. So to the right, you got your camera. Go down. Let's see if anything happens. Nothing when you go down. Okay, boom. Mm, 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 mm. So go to notifications over here. You hit this button right here. It lets you know that it downloaded all these things that I downloaded. All right? So that's that. Uh, over here is contacts. You press contacts. Boom, here's all your contacts. I got three contacts, son. 
All right, so middle button right here is gonna take you into this part of your phone, which is like your menu button. And this is where you can really navigate through everything. And you should be able to see the applications that I downloaded in here. You'll be able to see them, all right? So right here, I didn't download any of those. This is YouTube, settings, calendar, music. Scroll down. All right, here is video. Wait, no. There is TweetFit. That's the one I installed. So let me go back here and go. Let me see. I did TweetFit, Space Shooter. Ooh, let's play a game, baby. Let's play a game. Oh, no, I didn't want to look at no ad, man. I want to play the game, son. I want to play the game. I got to get back to the games. Where is it at? I bet. Oh, it's in games right here. My bad. Here we go. All right, so here's Space Shooter. Black Sheep Games. Use the D-pad. Collect power-ups. Oh, shoot, I missed my power-up. Oh! This speaker is loud on here, folks. I'm going to turn that down. Let's try to do this again. Let's get it. Let's get it, folks. Let's get it. This is going to be nice. I missed my power-up that I had. Oh, I crashed again. Ah, uh, let's do it again. This is a this is a good time killer too, man. Because I know for a fact, probably that this is not going to kill this battery anytime soon. Get that power. Get that power. Get that power. Get that. Oh, 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 shoot! Oh, your man got the laser on him. What? Look at this joint. I'm done. It's a wrap. They done with this laser, son. Oh, it's temporary. Yeah, nice. Ah, I missed that power up. All right, so you get the gist of it. The game is fly. And so and uh, you got right here, you got Guardians. This was already here. I didn't install that. Uh, Whack a mole. That was already there. I installed Angry Chicken. And these are some other games that are on here. So lots of games you can do on here, man. But I want to go into this right here. I want to go into this right here, YouTube. Look at YouTube on here flying, son. All right, see what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here. And we're going to type it out. Here we go. Enter. All right. So your man Jay right there. Boom. Going to go here. Going to go down to videos. And we're going to play. My latest video is right here, son. All right, we're going to get this ad up out of here in a minute. Yes, sir. Okay. So we got new headphones in. YouTube in full effect on the smartphone. Look, you can go full screen right here. Boom. YouTube on the flip phone. YouTube on the flip. That's what's up. All right, folks, I will give you a follow up on this later on because I need to use it for a little bit. But I'm telling you, this phone right here is a device that tons of people can use that don't want a smartphone and you don't want to spend the money. That is the truth. So KaiOS had a few updates and improvements. This version right here, T-Mobile dropping mad software updates on here to get this thing up to date. Games, Twitter on deck. Type C this time around, headphone jack, Bluetooth, obviously the other one I had too, but I'm feeling this, man. I'm really loving this. You guys know I always carry a flip phone down low because <laughs> it's the ones that last on battery forever. I'll be sure to give you a battery update on this bad boy, and I appreciate you hanging in here for this very lengthy video because these phones right here need love too. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you in the next one. Take care.